Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Go in the seat for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest, St. John Vianney, wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant we pray that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Paran and said, Send out men, one from each tribe, to make a reconnaissance of the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the sons of Israel. Send the leader of each tribe. At the end of forty days, they came back from their reconnaissance of the land. They sought out Moses, Aaron, and the whole community of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They made their report to them and to the whole community and showed them the produce of the country. They told them this story. We went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey. This is its produce. At the same time, its inhabitants are a powerful people. The towns are fortified and very big. Yes, and we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Amalekite holds the Negev area. The Hittite, Amorite, and Jebusite, the highlands. And the Canaanite, the sea coast, and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb harangued the people gathered about Moses. We must march in, he said, and conquer this land. We are well able to do it. 
But the men who had gone up with him answered, We are not able to march against these people. They are stronger than we are. And they began to disparage the country they had reconnoitred to the sons of Israel. The country we went to reconnoiter is a country that devours its inhabitants. Every man we saw there was of enormous size. Yes, and we saw giants there, the sons of Anak, descendants of the giants. We felt like grasshoppers, and so we seemed to them. At this, the whole community raised their voices and cried aloud, and the people wailed all that night. The Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron. He said, How long does this perverse community complain against me? I have heard the complaints which the sons of Israel make against me. Say to them, As I live, it is the Lord who speaks. I will deal with you according to the very words you have used in my hearing. In this wilderness, your dead bodies will fall. All you men of the census, all you who were numbered from the age of 20 years and over, you who have complained against me. For 40 days, you reconnoitred the land. Each day shall count for a year. For 40 years, you shall bear the burden of your sins. And you shall learn what it means to reject me. I, the Lord, have spoken. This is how I will deal with this perverse community that has conspired against me. Here in this wilderness, to the last men, they shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. Our sin is the sin of our fathers. We have done wrong. Our deeds have been evil. Our fathers when they were in Egypt, paid no heed to your wonderful deeds. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. But they soon forgot his deeds and would not wait upon his will. They yielded to their cravings in the desert and put God to the test in the wilderness. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. They forgot the God who was their Savior, who had done such great things in Egypt, such portents in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. For this, he said, he would destroy them. But Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the bridge before him to turn back his anger from destruction. O oh Lord, remember me out of the love you have for your people. A 
great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left Genesaret and withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Then out came a Canaanite woman from that district and started shouting, Sir, son of David, take pity on me. My daughter is tormented by a devil. But he answered her, not a word. And his disciple went and pleaded with him, Give her what she wants. They said, because he is shouting after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the Lordship of the house of Israel. But a woman had come up and was kneeling at his feet. Lord, she said, help me. He replied, it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the house dogs. He retorted, Ah, yes, sir. And even house dogs can eat the scraps that fall from the master's table. And Jesus answered her, Woman, you have great faith. Let your wish be granted. And from that moment, her daughter was well again. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What do we see that have been portrayed in the life of Jesus at the moment of his encounter with the Canaanite woman? What about then, as in the first reading, of how the king then had said about the people that Moses has been taking care of? In short, as it is, if we are to talk about Jesus, we do not have to worry whether he wanted to heal the daughter of this Canaanite woman or not. Healing miracle, anything. Jesus has the power. And we all know that Jesus will do just whatever that if only that we are to us. The Canaanite woman asked. 
But let me help you to focus ever more properly. That how would you feel if you are in the position of the woman? And Jesus then referred her to be a dog. How would you feel when people call you names? It is very degrading. It hurts. It makes you angry. Then you will be asking, uh-huh, why did Jesus say that? A Canaanite woman had never been just like the Samaritans. They had never been acknowledged by the scribes and Pharisees. And so then, as it is, they are not considered to be people of the land because they do not follow the law of the Jews. And so they are considered as outcasts. What about us? Do we separate people? Very much so in the contemporary world. Not only in this country, but in other countries too, of which we can easily see the very sense of racism. As in America, we know that the white hates the black. And how the black from Africa in historical time had always been treated and sold as slave. And not necessary to be in that color, It can be in that manner of how traditional cultural life has been lived on. That in the early years only boys will be counted, not girls. But more than to say that if we are then to hear of people Having such diseases, not necessary like now a death of COVID-19. But if we are to hear that somebody has leprosy, would you walk near them? And if you come to know any one of your loved ones having TB or tuberculosis or TB, but you go near them. So don't think that you are a child of God baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and you are not a racist. But today in the Gospel, when then Jesus brought out and said to the woman, first of all, he said this to his disciple. I was sent only to the lordship of the house of Israel. So if we are not being counted in the elite group of society, we know that we have been rejected 
and it is very distressing. We do not then experience harmony to live together in love. And so when then Jesus said this to the woman, referring her in that sense of the word as being a house dog, look at the response of the woman. Saying, ah, yes, sir, and even house dogs can eat the scraps that fall from their master's table. So she then, though being hurt, she still exercised what she then knew as best. And Jesus tested her. of her faith in Jesus, most of all, of her love, not only for her daughter, but very much with that readiness as that to live a life in harmony to ask them to extend that love inside her for others too. With that readiness to go on with her life. And thus treating as everyone is equal. Jesus, when he comes into our heart, he wants you and I to be equal. To only then live in harmony with love and exercise mercy. Not holding back in whatever that we think that we can lay hands on to make ourselves rich. No. But what we have has been given us is what then we have been asked to use. For the sake of the well-being of others. Today when we celebrate the a day of the patron saint of priest, Saint John Vianney. John Vianney has very low IQ. He went to the seminary, he fell, he strife, he did whatever that us he needed to do. Though he was then considered as a right off and thus Racism has always then been exercised even within the church. But today, he has always been honored to be a saint. Why? Because of his love for God, he was determined. He has nothing else inside his heart. All he needed was just to glorify God, to bring the good news of his heavenly kingdom to others, in spite of what he then knew of his own status in life, as someone that he knew he had never had the sense to really know much more than he had been. And so, my brothers and my sisters, look into our heart and ask what sort of a racist person that we had become. 
in the many fields or category of racism. It is not about education. Our education helps us to even know, to brighten our mindset, us to know how deeply that we have fallen into. But we can change. We need to change. Especially in times as such, whereby we don't even know what will happen next. So let us continue to learn from Jesus that He wants each and every one of us to live in harmony. He wants each and every one of us to imitate Him in love. And He purposefully raised it up at the situation with His encounter of the Kalanite woman that who then in spite of being degraded, she was determined that she only need to hold it very firmly in her heart to love one another. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed St. John Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. John Vianney, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep herself in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of this death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. There with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for merry evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed St. John Vianney, that we may preserve in integrity 
the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For all, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.